Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very simple little device that clips on the side of your Kindle and makes jumping pages easier. That may seem silly, but there's some very practical uses for this, and we'll talk about it here in a second. First, though, a few disclaimers. This was a review unit sent to us, but they don't get to see this review until it's live on YouTube. They're watching it here just like you are. Second, pricing on this varies so wildly. I hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. I'll put a link to it in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. You can find it on Amazon down there. Second, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. We would really appreciate it. All right, let's start off with just taking a look at the two pieces of this device. Now, this is the actual clicker. It just clips right onto your Kindle, and I'll show you that in a second. And then it, through wireless connection, goes to your remote. You press this button, and it can skip you forward in a page. Pretty cool little um, device. There is a button here to turn it on and off. There's a USB-C here on both of these to charge it. Really nice, love that they're using USB-C and not micro USB. Beyond that, there's not a whole lot to say. This is the clicker part where you can press a button and just jump forward a page. To connect this to your device, here you go. You just open up your Kindle. You take this little um, device. Does it help if I drop it? I apologize if I just hit my microphone. Welcome to real um, non-polished review. So let's jump into a book here. So very simple with this. Here we go. Let me uh, press that button again. It just does a really nice job skipping forward. Behind that, it's a super simple device. I just showed you how to use it. You literally clip this on, you make sure it's charged, and you can skip forward here. I'm not even sure what book I am. I'm using my daughter's Kindle right now. Uh, but tons of great applications for this. Now you're probably saying, Luke, I can just tap the screen myself. Why do I need a device like this? Yeah, for most people, this is probably not something that you need. But I also have um, family members who are in their 90s who love to read and use their Kindle on a stand because it's hard for them now to hold it for long periods of time as they read books. Having this little um, clicker will actually be really nice instead of having to reach up when you're here in the late 90s. That doesn't seem like much maybe in your 40s like I am even. When you're in your late 90s, this repeated motion actually can add up a lot. So a very nice little clicker for that feature. Now, a few notes here. Setup was super simple, it auto paired. I didn't have to do anything. There's no app to download for my phone. There's nothing special I needed to do in Bluetooth settings. I literally just clipped this onto my Kindle and then started pressing this button and it advanced me forward. Super simple. Battery life is excellent. Hours of reading without problems on this. So if you're somebody who um, maybe can find a use for this, like I said, I have a family members in their 90s now who like to read, but the ability to hold a book for long periods of time or repeatedly reach up, it's starting to really take a toll on them. And the ability to just hold a device like this and click it forward and click it forward is so simple and so easy, it makes reading a lot easier for them. So two thumbs up on this, simple device, Seems silly for some people. For other people, there's a very practical need for this. Check it out, link in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. If I didn't happen to answer one of your questions, leave me a comment, let me know, I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, we would really appreciate it. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll be back again real soon.